friends. Today we're reading My Friend the Snowman. Let's find out what find out why this snowman is his friend. It's a squirrel. Bright and early one morning a sharp whistle rang through the forest. Sunny jumped out of bed. I'm coming, she cried. She knew exactly who was calling her. Well, do you know? I don't know. Let's find out. It was Millie, the little marmot. Sunny quickly slid down the tree and soon the two best friends were running across the meadow after, after a few somersaults, salts. After a few somersaults, Millie pulled five pine cones out of her pocket and they worked on their juggling routine, tossing the cones back and forth faster and faster. That sounds fun. Oh, I'm so tired, said Millie, collapsing on the leaf pile, falling down. Ah, these leaves feel just as soft and snugly as the bed that's waiting for me. Soon it will be winter and then, and then what, asked Sunny, then I have to go. Sunny jumped up, go, go, what do you mean go? Marmots hibernate. What does that mean, friends? We learned this last month. We sleep all winter long, exclaimed Millie. Don't worry, as soon as spring comes, I'll be back. Not until spring. Sunny was heartbroken. Wah, wah, wah. So disappointed. I'd be sad too. As the weeks passed, Millie got sleepier and sleepier. And one day, I can hardly keep my eyes open, she said. Now it's time for me to go. I'm gonna miss you so much, whispered Sunny so sadly. I'll miss you too, but I'll play with you in my dreams. Take good care of our pine cones and think of me when you juggle. They hugged and Millie scurried off. Sunny could not fall asleep that night. The whole winter without her best friend. How could she stand it? Mama tried to comfort her. You can play with your brothers and your other forest friends, she suggested. I know, said Sunny with a sigh. Look, she looks very sad. Tell me if you agree if she looks sad. The next morning, a thick blanket, means a lot of snow landed on the ground. It was deep, covered the countryside. Sunny went sledding with her brothers and their friends, but it was not the same without Millie. She felt lonely. She looks very sad, friends. Sunny wandered off by herself. She picked up a pine cone and threw it in the air. Here, Millie, catch, she murmured. But the pine cone fell to the ground and tumbled, tumbled down the hill. It rolled faster and faster, picking up snow as it went. When Sunny finally caught up with it down by the stream, that's the water, it had become a big white ball. Sunny thought it looked like the head of a snowman. She rolled a nice big body to go with the head. One more branch and you're done, said Sunny. Thanks a lot, said a friendly voice. Sunny nearly jumped out of her fur. What, you can talk? Of course I can and sing too. My name is Fred and I like anything real. And red, sang the snowman. My name is Sunny and I like songs that are funny, giggled Sunny. Wow, we could build a snowman and it could become real like Frosty. From then on, Sunny visited her snowman every day, and every day she brought him a new surprise. Fred was always in a good mood. That means he was happy. Together, they made up rhymes and songs and jokes. Fred told the most wonderful stories. Sunny told Fred all about her friend Millie. And whenever she played Millie's special songs on her flute, Fred and the birds would sing along. Oh, this is nice. This makes me happy. My heart is warm. Is your heart warm? Look. The first spring flowers are here, said Fred one day. Your friend will wake up soon and I'll have to go. Sunny jumped up, go, go, what do you mean? All snowmen melt in the warm spring sun. Soon I'll melt into the stream, remember the water, and tumble down into the valley. Oh, Sunny was sad and had tears in her eyes. Don't worry, said Fred. I'll be back next winter when it snows again. Poor Sunny. 
A few days later, Sunny went to the stream. In the middle of a puddle, she saw a branch, a pine cone, her soggy scarf, and an old hat. Sunny sat under the tree and cried. Oh, how she missed Fred. So, why does she know this was Fred? Want to go back to the page before and see? Let's look. Oh, there we go. The pine cone, the hat, the scarf, right? There it is, and then it melted onto the ground. Okay, she was right, it was Fred. A loud whistle <whistles> rang through the forest. Millie finally cried Sunny and gave Millie a big hug. How was your winter, asked Millie. Sunny told her friend all about Fred the snowman. A snowman? I've never seen anything like that. Millie was amazed. Remember, she sleeps all winter, so she misses snow. She misses Santa. We miss you, Santa. Thank you for all our Christmas presents. She misses everything, but that's okay. Oh, he's wonderful, said Sunny, and he had wonderful stories, too. I'll tell them to you, and it will be almost as good as if you'd been there. And next winter, when he returns, he'll have new jokes and stories. And so as they headed off to play, they planned all the wonderful things they would do together through the spring, summer, and fall. Oh, it's my favorite page. Sounds like a very good plan. You're gonna be sad it's over. What do we say? We all say the end.